This is Duke University. My name is James Gillenwater. I'm a 2L here at Duke, uh, graduating in 2012. And this year in August, I started a youth rugby program at the John Avery Boys and Girls Club here in Durham for uh, kids aged 8 to 12. Well, I started the program under an Albert Schweitzer Fellowship, and this is usually given to graduate students to start a health-based project in the community. And, um, you know, I stuck with what I, what I knew, which was rugby, but here in Durham there was no youth rugby. So um, the John Avery Boys and Girls Club seemed like the perfect um, age group to work with. They, we had about 30 kids, aged 8 to 12, and it just seemed like a great thing to do, a way to share what I know um, with some young kids in the community and to get some local graduate students involved in their community as well. Y'all looking good, let's go. You got an earpiece. Let's go. So I've been uh, the assistant coach for the undergrad team here at Duke, and I've been playing a little bit with the graduate team, uh, comp comprised mostly of business students, some uh, environmental school students, and a few law students. So they jumped on board. Uh, they wanted to be involved in the community. They wanted to share some of their rugby knowledge. So the undergrad team's been huge in coming out um, Tuesdays and Fridays to help out the grad team. And some guys from the local club here, Eno River uh, in Durham, have been instrumental as well. Nice passing, boys. Good dive. I showed them some clips of uh, international games, big hits, big runs. And I showed them you know, my little highlight reel so they could see how the game was played. And really, the f I, I wanted them to get a concept of how international the game was. Uh, for example, last year at the World Cup, uh, the final four, Kenya, Samoa, Wales, and Argentina. That's four different ethnicities, four different continents. So I wanted them to see that it's a worldwide game, that it's played in front of hundreds of thousands of fans, not just what sometimes you see in America, which is a game that we play um, on a, any given Saturday at a muddy field in front of ten people. So that's, I mean, that's part of the game I love. I've done that, but I've also played in, in Hong Kong in front of 60,000 people. I'd never played rugby until my first year uh, at college at Vanderbilt, and I rose to the, the level of uh, a South All-Star my senior year, and that's really where I, I got my big break, got on the radar of the national team coaches. After that, I went over to play in Spain in the semi-professional league uh, and got called back from that to try out for the national team in fall of 2006 and made the team. There's an eight-stop circuit that you play throughout the, throughout the year. Dubai, South Africa, Hong Kong, Australia, Las Vegas, Edinburgh, London. So it's a, it's a, great, it's a great experience. And uh, I had the, the honor of captaining the team my, my final year in 2009. Quick ball. Oh, Gillian Walters away. Brilliant score for the United States of America. We always envisioned having the kids come out and watch a game, so we thought we'd bring the, the rugby to them. Engage! I think a lot of them were impressed with my uh, athletic abilities <laughs> after two months of me out there kind of going half pace and walking and trying to teach people skills. Uh, I think they thought I was a decrepit old man, so that was, that was gratifying uh, to my uh, law school uh, ego. Being a new sport for them, it, it was a little hard to implement at first because it's a little counterintuitive. You say, you have to pass the ball backwards. You know, what other sport do you have to do that in? And you also say, you, if you're in front of the ball, you're off sides. A lot of them want to run out and block. So really drilling that into their heads was, a, was hard. But I think the thing that appealed to them, everyone gets to run, everyone gets to pass, everyone gets to tackle, everyone gets to play defense. Everyone has a role on the team. Other sports, you have that as well, but roles are a lot more circumscribed a lot of the times. If you're a big kid, you play line in football. Rugby, you know, every one of these kids, uh, boys, girls, whatever age, whatever weight, they all got to run, they all got to pass. It's a very um, inclusive sport when it's played on the field, and I think that really uh, builds on the social aspect of the sport. I've played every sport, and it's this, the sport that you really connect most with your teammates on and off the field. Produced by Duke University.
online at duke.edu.